everyone, Joe here doing an update on our appreciation build for old Tom, Rambler69. So we have uh, the cockpit completed here and all put together as you can see. It's looking pretty good, at least I think, and uh, we'll give you a kind of a, a close-up shot here. Uh, the nice thing about the Raiden, it's pretty much all green inside. There's there's not much deviations, but I think it's coming out pretty good. We've got some nice tones, some nice shadowing. And uh, that weathering is really making it look good. And so we're going to move on to get this into place and get that fuselage sealed up and move on from there. Uh, lots of projects on the bench right now, as you all know. So we have our build with Ben. We have our build with Charlie and Ben. And, and of course, this Raiden. So we're going to keep moving along and get going get this thing sealed up then we're gonna work on probably the seam lines show you what we do there and uh, go go from there so stick with me here and uh, we'll make this hopefully a shorter video than it has been and we're gonna start hammering this out and getting this thing taken care of All right, so we've got everything together here, and uh, we're squeezing it, gluing it, uh, creating those little weld beads that I like to do, and then we'll pretty much come back in here and we'll we'll start scraping, scraping away at it and doing our sanding. But uh, started, you know, from one side to the other, not at the same time. Get it all together here, and uh, make sure that we're perfectly aligned. You know, you, the one thing you want to do is make sure that one side isn't higher than the other. So it looks like we've got a few parts and bits here to put in. However, some of these seam lines aren't going to have to be worried about, such as the front and the back there that I pointed out. But other than that, it's coming along really nicely. It fit well together, uh, really well together. Uh, getting the cockpit in sometimes can be rather tough. Using the, of course, splash truck bonding, uh, creating those weld beads as I called it. And uh, I love that stuff to put fuselages together. So here we go. We've got the wings on and a little bit more adding in. So I like to put the wings on because I want to make sure, you know, if I have to do filling, I want to do it all at once. Uh, I'm kind of, I try to be super efficient, uh, which makes me not a very detail oriented person, but I try to be efficient so that like everything's on, I can do all the filling at once. Everything's on. I can do all the painting at once, things like that. But you can see here where the wing root joins up, there's going to be some filling that needs to be done. That's okay. It's not going to be that tough. We'll use some super glue and show you how that's going to work out. Um, then take my ceramic knife. Again, highly recommend this tool on Amazon. I, it's, I know you're thinking, well, I've got a hobby knife. It, it's better. It just, it's just better. Sorry. Um, but we're just going to scrape this along. It doesn't dull down as much, uh, by the way. So we just scrape this along and it removes all the seam line so that we created that little weld bead, that plastic bead that bubbles up. Uh, that's the nice thing about using that plastic bonding and uh, just scrape this through. Now there will be a little bit of sanding, you know, to smooth it out. But other than that, we'll uh, make it work.
All right, everyone, we got everything together, ready to go here. You also saw me kind of doing some scribing, rescribing, I should say, after having to sand away some of the lines and uh, nothing big there, just using the scribing tool and, and moving on here. We're just going to use a little bit of 400 grit uh, sanding sponge from Tamiya and just kind of what I'm doing here is honestly reshaping the top so because it's a curve and when you do the scraping across it uh, can flatten it out a little bit so I'm gonna sand it up to make sure that everything's also gone as well just doing that extra little bit of care here and then come back in I'm gonna start doing my filling as well and I'm gonna use two types of things uh, super glues I'm gonna use a really thin one by Bob Smith and then a, a thin one black from VMS and we're just gonna put it in here it, it tends to flow a little bit better when it's these two mixed together I found out uh, so it fills and flows really well and the black also helps me to see where it's where it's going into because with the clear one I, I can't see it that well so again just gonna mix these two up together a couple drops of each just to make sure that uh, I've got kind of a right consistency where again it's not thick, it's not thin, but it flows well. All right, so we've got that done and finished up and uh, we're gonna let that cure and move on to the next steps here which are gonna be the landing gear and everything else but as you can see here everything's looking pretty good we got some filling in uh, little black lines as you can see got things sanded down a little bit making sure that uh, everything's smooth as possibly as we possibly can at least <laughs> and uh, now we're just gonna move on to putting things on to alligator clips popsicle sticks I use like these little popsicle sticks with some tape on some things and uh, there is a reason why I'm gonna do it for this particular set of parts and that's because these are side specific so I'm gonna use this little 3m sticky tape as well it really kind of holds things into place better than just the masking tape and uh, again these are side specific parts so right wheel left wheel they're not interchangeable so I want to make sure that I have them right uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these on make sure I have the right parts stick them here again love this stuff it's there it's in place it's not going anywhere and then I'm gonna take a little bit of more masking tape and I'm going to put another kind of uh, piece on here but this I'm sticky side down and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a little bit of a label here and I'm gonna label that with the part that is needed so or the part that it is I should say and we're gonna just that way we know when we get done that's the part that goes here and I'll do that with the entire right side or left side doesn't matter the other ones doesn't you don't need to label it because you you know which one side already is so that's what we got and we're gonna start uh, getting this going getting everything set up get ready to move to the paint booth with it and uh, moving right along so uh, again I appreciate everyone stopping in and uh, taking a look commenting uh, the the format seems to be going really well. Uh, I don't know if it's the algorithm of YouTube or what, but I've had uh, like probably three times the amount of views that I normally get. Uh, so that's great, I, I guess. Again, I'm not big into that stuff. I'm just sharing my work here and having some fun uh, with a great community, whether that community is cars, airplanes, tanks, ships, figures, whatever it is uh just out here having some fun and uh yeah so but it, whatever's whatever's going on it's seems to be working so until next time everyone i hope you're doing well i hope you're staying safe
Take care.